What is happening guys back at you with another video so we got the first official trailer for venom 3 or as they're calling it now venom the last dance so let's go ahead and take a look at this what his home you should probably know that i have a really dark so this might be taking place right after No Way Home. He still has some of the same clothes on. Stop speaking. I'm not. I'm giving you a chance, sweetie. Say when. When. Oh shit. Oh shit, the dogs too. What are you? We. We are no. Yeah, we. We are. I need to work on that. Oh, sure. Taking heads off. Take me to all the finest places. I need to tie up most. We always knew it was impossible. We were alone. Oh, is that that David Bowie song playing? Hmm, other symbiotes. Is that the bar from No Way Home? To make sure that remains a secret. Let's go get him. Funny when he talks like that. What's that David Bowie song? On the run, in the shit. We are living the dream, my friend. Vegas. Oh, Mr. Shin. <laughs> Dancing with her now. There has to be a reason they're after us. Hold on, was that the guy that plays Lizard? Eddie, my own. Oh, whoa, what the hell? His home? Oh, shit. Damn. There's an army coming that cannot be beaten. As long as that guy is probably going to turn into toxin. Everything will end. Oh shit, what the hell is this stuff? It's creatures. Eddie, the time has come. I mean, they're saying this is Tom Hardy's last Venom movie, so maybe they'll go, on, go out with a bang. Oh no. Oh my god. A symbiote hope horse. Oh shit. Wow. <laughs> it's crazy. Alright, so we got Venom 3. Venom The Last Dance. Basically, they're saying this is the last installment of the Venom franchise. So if this is in fact their last, uh, the last installment to the whole Venom movies, the uh, completing it with a trilogy definitely gonna be interesting if they go out on a good note or somewhat of a good note maybe go out with a bang uh i want to come when it comes to the venom movies um they don't necessarily portray the venom character like i would like them to but these movies whenever i go to watch them i just go expecting some dumb fun and that's usually what i get with the venom movies you know the first one and the second one um definitely was one uh, along the lines where i just go to watch them to get at least some kind of entertainment out of them some kind of fun you know they're dumb fun when it comes to the movies i watch they're those movies that i just go to watch for that entertaining dumb fun factor and that's what i get that's what i got for the first two movies so that's kind of what i'm expecting to get out of this third movie you know i'm not expecting a whole lot from this venom movie i don't have high expectations or high hopes or anything like that for this venom movie just like the other ones so if it could at least give me some entertainment uh and be like the other two where it's just dumb fun then i'm not gonna say i'll be satisfied but i'll say at least you gave me that you know at least you gave me that with this trilogy to where it's kind of entertaining in a way not necessarily how I would like the Venom character to be portrayed, but at least it's some kind of entertainment I get out of these movies. But 
it looks like the, along the same lines that this movie might be along the same lines as the other two. Uh, just some of the things that we're getting here. That crazy scene at the very end of the trailer. A symbiote, symbiote horse. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, but yeah, that's crazy. Uh, you know, Tom Hardy has been saying that this is going to be his last Venom movie that he's going to be doing. So maybe we'll get something uh, to go out with a bang or somewhat of a good note. Maybe. Hopefully. Maybe. We've got Shuatel LJ4 in here as the uh antagonist or the person who's going after venom this time around it seems uh saw in that little laboratory whatever it was that there's a couple other symbiotes and so far there's been a lot of speculation and rumors that we might be getting some of the other symbiotes like scream and lasher and a couple other ones and you saw the return of that detective dude from let there be carnage the last venom movie to where he at the towards the end of that movie he did end up getting some of the symbiote on him so it might be very likely that he will turn into a toxin in this movie so we might begin toxin in this movie and some of the other symbiotes too that's been speculating and rumored to come on this movie um there has been a speculated and rumored plot line that's been going around that's being said that might go in this movie and there was like just a little blink and you miss it kind of hint to where maybe a possibility towards that speculated rumor so far the speculated rumor that people have been talking about that might it's just a rumor and just speculation right now but there's Rumor is that for the plot that this will kind of partly uh, center around Venom actually becoming a protector towards a young Peter Parker. Um, you, If you remember how Venom was in a previous movie talking about the whole, the whole hive mind. he So he basically knows the identity of uh, Spider-Man which is Peter Parker. So he ends up going trying to find this Peter Parker and tries to you know take him out whatever. But, you know, it turns out that he's just only a young boy and, you know, Eddie Brock just said or basically becomes the protector of this young Peter Parker and they're going like on this crazy road trip and things like that. So there's a couple of hints and a couple of things in here that could lead to that. But, of course, we just got to wait and see if that's actually the rumored and speculated plot that they're going to be going with is be interesting if that will be it because it's like. You're going to have, you're not going to have Spider-Man, but you're going to have a young Peter Parker. So, I mean, everybody, myself included, want to see a battle between Venom and Spider-Man. But the way that they're doing it, these movies, it definitely looks like we're not going to be able to get that. But the way that they, if that rumor is true, that that is, is the plot line for this movie. to where it's going to be like a young Peter Parker. Uh, it's kind of interesting, but it's like, really? I mean, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that whole plot line. But a couple other things, you know. Seem like getting more symbiotes, of course. The way that Venom was saying how his home planet has found him, they're coming towards him. We saw some of those creatures uh, he was fighting in there, and um, so it'd be very possible that they sent those creatures to get Venom or take him out or whatever his home planet, whatever uh, who had ended up sending them. Um, a lot of people have been, you know, wanting to see Noel. Noel, if y'all familiar with the character Noel from the Marvel comics, where he's like the creator basically of all symbiotes. So. I don't know if they'll even do that. It seems a little late in the game to be able to do that. To do that in a third movie. You know you would kind of want to introduce him. Or at least have some hints or seed planted throughout the throughout all the movies. Or something like that to like lead up to him. But I don't think we're going to get him in this third movie. And a lot of people do want him. But like I don't think we're going to get him. So we'll, we'll see with that. Also got me questioning. Uh, it looked like a little... Blink and you miss it kind of scene there when it uh, looks like they're in some kind of RV or something. And it looked like the character or, you know, the guy who plays uh, Lizard, Rice, or Reese, Ephons. Uh, it looked like that was him. But, you know, he had like a beard and all that stuff. It looked like it was him. That is interesting. Is he reprising his role as Kurt Connors, the Lizard? Uh, if y'all, For those of y'all that remember, he played Kurt Connors, uh, Kurt Connors in the uh, Amazing Spider-Man movie. Uh, so that will be interesting see if that's really him if he's reprising his role as Kurt Connor Connors if this is like some kind of multiversal thing or whatever he's playing a different variant or something like that I want to be interesting also too uh when they're in that bar you can tell it's definitely the bar from No Way Home for that mid post credit scene that we had got in No Way Home it's definitely the same bar and you had uh Chiwetel AJ4 uh captured a symbiote it looked like it almost was about to latch onto that one guy there but uh he caught it right beforehand uh, I don't know. Maybe it's the same bar. Maybe it's something else. I don't know if exactly if somehow it's retconning that whole mid post credit scene with No Way Home. I don't know. I guess we'll have to just wait and see on that. We'll see what happens with that. We'll just see what this movie, you know, we'll just see what this movie, see what they end up doing. And 
I don't know. Just hoping for the best. Or at least hoping for Venom's best, at least. At least to his standard that these movies have been to, you know, like I said, no high expectations or high hopes for this movie exactly. Just want to go into this movie, be able to at least get some kind of entertainment out of it. The dumb fun that I usually get out of these Venom movies. And at least if they could do that, then might maybe end up off on a good note. We'll see. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But let me know down in the comments below if you're going to be watching this movie, if you're excited for it. But I do offer this video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe and turn notifications on so you know I'll post another video. Hope you all have an awesome day and we'll see you on the next one.